Hey YouTubers, Jim here from Low Cost Water Softeners. I thought I'd do a video on um, why water softeners are so expensive. It's a common question, um, and it, it's kind of relative to a few things. Firstly, um, a guy's got to charge, or a girl has to charge what the market share will accept. And so, um, if you come into a place like San Antonio, where there's a lot of houses and a lot of businesses, then um, <clears throat> then there's a huge demand for water softeners, then your prices can be high. But if you're in a place like Florida, where they sell water softeners for $600 and they barely make any money, that's a different story. And that's because in Florida, there are so many water softeners being sold because of their water, they might sell two or three a week as opposed to places in Texas where they might sell two or three a month so it's all relative as to where to what your market share is going to be and then there's that age-old thing that's called what the market will bear now when I first started into this business I asked my boss um, how do you know what to charge and he says whatever the market will bear I said what does that mean and he says if we can sell them for two thousand and the people will buy it then we sell it for two thousand if the people will buy it for four thousand then we'll sell it for four thousand so what the market bears depends on where your market is and um, what your market share is going to be in that area now the next thing you have to think about is overhead the overhead the gas the insurance maintenance and all the other things that go into owning a business um, have to be considered as well although in a water softener business you may not have a lot of overhead just depends on how big your company was mine was a small company so I didn't have hardly any overhead but yet I was still able to charge what the market would bear and uh, but I didn't sell a water softener every day I may have sold three or four a month at the most It was a good thing that I had a water well company to back me up which I owned as well now here's the thing that's going to really make you angry dealer prices there's a 300 percent markup on water softeners in most cases I know I know I'm sorry but we all have to make a living so and I'm not talking about scamming people now here's some things to learn before you buy a water softener if you want to know why they're so expensive so I knew a guy he was a constituent of mine and he sold a different brand he would he told me he would talk to the customer until they threw him out of the house he kept closing on them and closing on them until they finally asked him to leave and so what he would do is he'd offer a cash price of like four thousand dollars for his water softener he and the, that brand says they have a lifetime warranty which almost all water softeners really have a lifetime warranty but for the most part you get 10 years on the tank and five years on the valve but they last forever as long as you keep them out of the, out of freezing weather um, and then sometimes the tanks will spew a leak not very often and within 10 years it's replaceable other, other than that you can get it offline and do it yourself if you're a do it yourself or so um, then there was the well if I can't sell it to you for cash I can finance it but it's gonna cost more and now that it costs more they use their finance company which is anywhere from 21 percent interest and above they don't give people a fair shot they're taking advantage of people's circumstances and situations and um, so that's why I do these videos that's also why I recommend um, buying your water softener off of Amazon it's an affiliate link and I get a little bit of kickback for that um, like four <laughs> percent but you can buy a water softener around seven or eight hundred dollars from there and um, I'll find the link and put it in the description below but in, in short they're expensive because they can be um, unless of course you live in places like Florida and I'm sure there's some other states that um, would prohibit the, the community or the market share would prohibit 
um, selling your water softeners for a lot of money because the last time I was in Florida a few years ago, they were selling them, they had a little sign up, $650. So I called the guy and I said, how can you sell your water softeners so cheap? He said, because that's what the competition sells them at. And I was like, wow. So in Texas, 2000 and above is about your average price. Although where I live in Canyon Lake, Texas, um, I've seen some sold as low as $1,200, and then I still see people paying four to 7000 on um, water softeners for whatever reason. They, I guess they didn't search around or um, whatnot, but that's what I find on my Facebook group. So, anyways, if this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit the like button. And from what I understand now, you've got to click on the bell to get notifications every time I make a video. Um, I appreciate your audience and I appreciate your time. <clears throat> and I hope this video helps you. You guys have a great day.